All right, welcome back to the Nice Fast channel, guys. It's time to do another unboxing. So say hello to Hiding back there, Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Login TV, and let's get started. So we got three different things to open, and uh, let's get started. This first one comes by way of the Apex Pass Around Group. Comes straight from David at Blade Banter himself. Uh, this is a QSP a knife, and I uh, wanted to take a look at this one, because I've not, you know, uh, I've obviously seen uh, my Mach 51, which is produced by QSB, and I have seen, um, you know, other OEM knives, but really, I've only probably had maybe three other QSP branded knives on the channel, so I figured I should get a few more. This is uh, really cool. I like the box. This is the Prototype Mamba version 2, um, and it came out for Blade Show this year, and David is sending this one around for the Pass Around Group to check out. So this is a Micarta Mamba version 2. Really cool Micarta, has a really good grip to it. Nice deep pocket clip, good open construction. Let's see how she flips. Let's first of all... Man, I'm having focus issues. Nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Pops right out of there like that. Uh, drop point almost has a little bit of a harpoon. Man, I don't know. That's really cool. Really nice looking blade. You got the QSP logo here. Oh, boy. Focus issues tonight. Uh, sample, it says, I am not sure what the blade steals. I'm going to guess it's D2. Let's see how she drops. Yeah. Very nice. Flips open real good. Has a good detent. Very nice. Uh, don't know a lot about this because I haven't been able to find a lot online because it is, uh, as I said, a prototype. Um, and so I am excited to learn more. I'll get a hold of uh, QSP David and uh, just try to find more information on that one. So there you go. That is the QSP Mamba. And so far, I mean, it's chamfered off well. It's it's very nice, guys. I'm I'm digging this one, so I'm just looking forward to getting the details. All right, the second one here comes by way of Justin at White Mountain Knives. Now, while I'm unboxing this, by the way, my unboxing knife is the Benchmade 945, the Mini Osborne. Uh, really dig this little guy, and it's a great unboxing knife that was in the pocket today. So, as you guys know, I am an affiliate with White Mountain Knives, and uh, if you use my code KNIVESFAST at checkout, you get 10% off your order. Uh, whoa, peanuts everywhere, guys. I am, not, I am not exaggerating. The box opened up, and there are peanuts. Here, I'll prove it. Peanuts all over the place, and I'm going to pick them up because it bothers me, and I'm weird. Okay, we got them. Peanuts everywhere. All right. So we have a Civiva here, and this is one that I asked Justin if he would send out. Um, this guy, as you know, if you watch the channel, that I might have griped a little bit when Civiva came out with the button lock Elementum. Because it's, it's a button lock, but there's no way to open it other than gravity uh, flipping it back and forth. And it's locked in the open position and in the closed position. It's not my thing. So to see Civivi come out with a button lock, I had to take a look. So this is the Cogent, uh, black G10 handle, black stonewash, uh, 14C28N uh, button lock. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. Uh, thank you so much, Justin. And guys, don't forget that 10% off. Uh, like I said, Justin is a cool dude. So we'll put this Civivi box up here. What is that on the back here? We have a QR code now. And a lifetime warranty. Very cool. Civivi's so changed their box a little bit. You do have the typical Civivi pouch. You have the cloth and all that good stuff. And the, the cogent. So I know a lot of you have already gotten these because I've seen people posting them on uh, Instagram. But I had to check it out. Uh, really cool looking pattern on the G10. Typical Civivi clip in black. Black hardware. Nice textured G10. Rolled off and chamfered. You do have... Uh, the button stands, oh man, uh, no, it's pretty much flat, um, and it's it, obviously it's sunk in a little bit for uh, that, and then not a, Civivi, uh, not a typical Civivi 
uh, flipper tab. It is, man, it is uh, uh, different. So let's see how we do. Oh, yeah, I like that flipper tab. All right. It's got a ting. Listen, ting. All right, I'm having to give it. No, it's dropping. Okay, it's it's definitely dropping. All right, all right, um, all right. Let's see what we got on the blade here. Black stone wash, really nice looking clip there. No branding whatsoever on the blade. Good job, Savivi. Uh, you do have bearings in there, and you do have weight relief, and it definitely feels maybe three and a half to four ounces. Um, good size knife as well. Does force your hands into certain places there, and you kind of feel a little pinned against the flipper there, but not bad. All right, I can't wait to, to check this one out, guys, because I want to give them props if they did it right. Let's see what we see in here. It's interesting. It's very similar looking. Oh, come on, focus. Really? Wow, okay. Similar looking button there. Um, really, really interesting. But it definitely isn't, uh, it isn't locked in the closed position, which is great. Uh, it does have a decent detent. Pops open really well. The flipper tab grabs your finger real well. I, I actually really dig that flipper tab. All right, there's another one to check out. The Civivi Cogent, all right? So we'll put that right there. And then last but not least, guys, we have a package uh, from my boy, uh, Steel Capital. Now, if you guys know, uh, if you haven't been hiding out in a cave somewhere, you know I've come out with my own uh, knife design called the Mach 51. I'm going to move these peanuts. Uh, and the Mach 51 will probably come on Kickstarter if I can get everything lined up sometime in January. That's my hope at this point. So there is the Mach 51. And I joked with um, with uh, the... Uh, bleh, I joked with him recently. And, oh, oh, okay. I joked with him recently that uh, asked him if he had a P-51 Mustang, Hank, and he said, no, but hold on a minute. Came right back, guys, and he said that he was going, I got to move some stuff so that I can show this and do it justice. Um, he said that he would try to find one, and he sent me pictures, and I said, yes, please, and this is what, it's blue. I knew that, but look at that, guys. Look at the P-51 Mustangs. That is flipping cool. Oh my goodness. So let me hold the whole thing up here. Uh, now it is a it's a different fabric than uh the I don't have one down here, but the other steel capital hank I have. Uh this is a really premium cotton. It's a little um what's the word? A little more stiff, but I don't mind that because on the back now you have micro suede. Look at that. So everything's going to wipe off really, really well on that micro suede. And I bet it'll still work real well on this as well. But what a material. Look at that. All right, here we go. I'm going to put this up here. And we're going to put that on there. Oh, yeah. Check that out, guys. We're going to we're gonna do some crappy camera work here just to zoom in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Let's move her over. Get the Christmas tree in there. <laughs> There you go. Very, very nice. Way to go. I am digging that. Now, he is doing a uh, pre-order on these guys. Uh, so, you know, you might want to go check on his. I'll try to have the link in the description, but check on his Instagram. I think he has a few of them left. Uh, he was doing 25, and I think maybe, um, you know, he still has some left. So check with him. I, I know uh, they're a little more pricey because they're, they're premium materials, but, man, this feels great. I really dig it. Uh, really love his logo and everything. And of course, uh, you guys know I love that P51 Mustang. I mean, how how that... Yeah, very awesome. So guys, I really am digging this. And uh, everything that came in... Let me zoom back out if this... Whoa, this is going to look really awkward. But that's okay. Just so we can show the two knives as well. Uh, so really glad. Thank you... Apex Pass Around Group for sending the QSP Mamba. Thank you, White Mountain Knives and Justin for sending the Civivi Cogent. And thank you, Steel Capital, uh, for this awesome P51 Hank, guys. So 
Check them out, and uh, thank you ever so much, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think, and thank you so much for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.